Hello, my name is Vladimir Gutsenko, and today I'm going to show you how you can add multiplayer to your game on the Amazon App Store using the Nextpeer Multiplayer SDK. Nextpeer is a cross-platform multiplayer SDK for mobile game developers. Using Nextpeer, you can easily add a new multiplayer mode which lets your players enjoy online competition and challenge their friends. The Nextpeer SDK is cross-platform. It supports both Android and iOS, and there are plugins for the top engines in the market. Unity, Cocos 2DX, LibGDX, and Marmalade. It provides both synchronous and asynchronous multiplayer. It provides in-game player-to-player communication. It has recordings and ghost players in-game. And it comes with built-in Facebook integration. Let's take a look at an example of multiplayer. This game is called Space Chase, and it is one of our sample games available on the Amazon App Store. Seeing other players can be achieved through player-to-player -player communication, where every player broadcasts their position to other players. If not enough live players are online, Nextpeer will run recordings of past playthroughs, simulating real players. Some of the benefits of multiplayer are It's more fun. The game is more competitive and social. Players can actually see each other while playing. It makes your game viral. Players invite and challenge friends for multiplayer. It allows endless playing. Multiplayer lets your players enjoy different experiences of the same level. This is an example of multiplayer mode in 2048, one of the biggest hits in the market and available on the Amazon App Store, where players can challenge each other on both Android and iOS. On the left, you can see the menu in the game. When players tap on multiplayer, they are directed to the next pair SDK's main dashboard screen, where they can play online, challenge Facebook friends, customize their profile, and see multiplayer leaderboards. Following the matchmaking process, players can compete against each other while watching the score updates in real time. In case there are no other players online, the next peer recordings system comes into play and shows ghost players of previous random players from past games. For our example, we'll use Super Jumper. In Super Jumper, the player jumps from platform to platform, collecting coins that count towards their score. We'll transform Super Jumper from single player to multiplayer. Instead of playing by themselves, the player will compete in real time against other players. The final evolution of the integration can be downloaded from the Amazon App Store under the name Jump with Buddies. It is also included in the SDK download. To get the code of Super Jumper, go to our sample GitHub repository at github.com slash nextpeer slash nextpeer dash amazon dash sample and clone it into your desired location. Check out the Before Integration tag and make a new Eclipse workspace with the game. After finishing this, we need to change the game's package identifier. Open the game's Android manifest file. Navigate to the manifest tab and change the package field to your desired identifier. I will use com.nextpeer.jumper.test. You can use the same identifier but make sure to substitute Nextpeer for your company's name. Now we need to register the game with Nextpeer. Open nextpeer.com in your browser and sign up for an account. Once you have an account, log in to access the dashboard. Here you can see all your registered games. Add a new Android game. Set its name to Super Jumper. Set the package identifier to the one you previously set for the game. Fill in the Amazon Vendor ID and the Amazon App Store URL fields. Once your game is live on the App Store, you can mark it as such in an Xperia's dashboard. This will enable promoting your game on Nextpeer's game stream service. Click Save. Note the Game Key field. It is needed to initialize Nextpeer in the code later on. Also note the Tournaments tab. Inside, you can define the tournaments that will be available to the player. By default, one game-controlled tournament is created and activated, which is enough for our tutorial. Download the latest Android SDK and extract it to your desired location. 
imported the Nexper SDK into SuperJumper's Eclipse workspace. To make SuperJumper see the Nexper SDK, we need to include it as a library. Open the game's project settings. Select the Android tab. Under the Libraries list, click Add. Select Nextpeer Connect and click OK. Nextpeer also uses the Android support library, so we'll need to add that as well. In the Project Properties, select the Java Build Path tab. Select Libraries and click Add External Jars. Navigate to the Nextpeer SDK directory. Open the third-party directory and choose Android Support V4.jar. Nextpeer requires internet-related permissions. Open the Android Manifest.xml file. Open the Permissions tab and click Add. Select Uses Permission. In the Name dropdown, select the Internet Permission. In the same way, add the Access Network State permission. Nextpeer also uses its own activities. Open the Applications tab. Scroll to Application Nodes and click Add. Select Activity and click OK. In the Name field of the new activity, click Browse and select Nextpeer Activity. Save the file. Now we can start the integration in the code. Nextpeer needs to run in a class that is independent of any activity and will share the lifetime of the game, as activities may be destroyed during the game's lifetime. We suggest use a subclass of the application class. SuperJumper does not have such a subclass, so we will add it now. Add a new class. Call it app and set its superclass to android.app.application. One of the parameters Nextpeer requires during initialization is an Xpeer listener object to which Nextpeer will report various events, such as tournament start and end. Instantiate an anonymous Nextpeer listener subclass inside the app class. Nextpeer listener defines a number of callback methods, but only two are mandatory, on tournament start and on tournament end. Add them, but leave them empty for now. Now we can initialize Nextpeer. Override the onCreate method. Nextpeer takes three parameters, a context object, the game key, and an Nextpeer listener object. The app class is a subclass of context, so we can pass it as the first parameter. The game key is the one reported in the dashboard, so we can go back and copy-paste it. The Nextpeer listener object is the one we have created a few moments ago. To make sure that app runs at startup, we need to add it to the Android manifest. Open Android manifest and select the application tab. Specify the app class in the name field of the application and save the file. As a final stage of preparation, we need to integrate Nextpeer into the game's main activity lifecycle. Navigate to the SuperJumper class 
and override the methods on start and on stop as follows. In on start, we tell Nextpeer that the activity has started. In on stop, we tell Nextpeer that if a tournament is ongoing currently, it should stop. Now, we can turn our single-player experience into multiplayer. When the player presses play in the main menu, it is handled in the update method of the main menu screen class. Navigate to that method. Instead of starting the game right away, we will launch next year. Comment out the line game.setScreen and write nextpeer.launch. Nextpeer takes care of matchmaking and tells you when you should start the tournament. Go to the app class. In the on tournament start method of our next peer listener, we'll need to start the game itself. However, we need the game object. Add a game member to the app class. Go to Super Jumper, which is a subclass of the game class. Add an override on the onCreate method. In it, set the game member of the app class. Go back to the app class. In the onTournament method, create and start the game scene. This takes care of starting the match. Now we will add score reporting to our code. Navigate to the world class. The score is updated in its check item collisions method. In that method, immediately after the score is updated, add a line next peer dot report score for tournament and pass it the score. Finally, we need to tell Nextpeer that the tournament is over. Navigate to the game screen class. In the update method, when the game state changes to game over, add the line Nextpeer dot report controlled tournament over with score and pass it to the last score. Here you can also report the final score to the game circle leaderboards. And that's it. Let's test our creation. Nextpeer has a number of advanced features which can further improve the gameplay experience. First among them is a player-to-player -player communication, or P2P for a short. Using the P2P facilities, every player can broadcast packets of information to all other players, such as their position in the level or power-up activations. Nextpeer supports reliable broadcast, which is implemented with TCP, and unreliable broadcast, which is implemented with UDP. The reliable channel can be used for control messages, while the unreliable channel can be used for frequently updated information, such as positions. We will not demonstrate P2P messaging in this tutorial, but it is covered in depth in our documentation, which can be accessed through the website. You can also check out the P2P implementation in our sample game, which comes with the SDK. Another advanced feature are recordings. Sometimes, when a player starts a tournament, other live players are not available. In this case, Nextpeer simulates live players by using bots and recordings of previous playthrough sessions. Bots only increase their score relative to the player's score. Recordings are playbacks of previous sessions, with score changes and P2P messages. Recordings don't appear immediately, 
A few tens of playthroughs are required initially to start filling the database. You can control recordings through the Advanced Settings tab in the game's dashboard. For more information about Nextpeer, please visit our website at nextpeer.com. For Amazon Developer Tips and Resources, please visit the Amazon Apps and Services Developer Portal at developer.amazon.com apps. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy your experience with Nextpeer.